A common question is um, how long to wear the uh, Lycra pants and the um, stockings. So um, there are two devices here, they actually have different roles. Um, so firstly with the, um, the white stockings, that's the TED stockings, um, they're anti-embolism stockings. So that's what's called uh, graduated compression devices. Um, and so they're used uh, to prevent the risk of deep venous thrombosis. Um, so that's where clots form um, in the veins and the calf. Now, there are a number of other measures that we are actually simultaneously using to be able to prevent that risk. Um, so um, most people have already been started on a, a blood thinner um, and that blood thinning medication um, is quite effective in reducing the risk. The other thing is that um, you'll notice that you've been mobilised quite quickly. So many people have started to walk even on the day of the surgery itself. And so that the risk of deep venous thrombosis is significantly reduced by early mobility programs. So when you're at the point of going home, you're probably at the stage where the risk of initiating a deep venous thrombosis um, is um, reducing quite significantly, uh, particularly in the context of um, good mobility patterns um, and the use of the blood thinning medication. So unless we tell you otherwise, uh, for instance, if you're at a particularly high risk category, most people can stop using the white stockings on discharge from hospital. So, um, so when you leave hospital, it's not necessary to continue those, unless of course you feel that you would like to continue and it's perfectly safe to do so, um, but in many cases, it's not a, a necessary recommendation. With respect to the um, Lycra pants that go from hip to ankle, um, those pants are not used for deep venous thrombosis uh, prophylaxis, they're used for swelling control. So um, pretty much universally, most people will have some form of swelling around the um, hip joint that often over time uh, under gravity will start to move down their leg into their knee. And so they'll get a bit of a stiff thigh and knee. Uh, and what we find is that people who use the Lycra pants that go from hip to ankle, um, particularly if they're quite firm Lycra pants, um, will have a reduction in the amount of swelling that they experience. So um, the swelling is not dangerous at all, so you don't have to be worried about it, but um, it feels more comfortable when it's gone. And so generally speaking, we say to people, expect most people will have some degree of more significant swelling for about a week or two. Um, so most people would use Lycra pants for a couple of weeks. Um, indeed, if you're lucky and you don't have much swelling um, and it's not really bothering you, um, you can stop using the Lycra pants, that's okay. Um, and then some people, they find that they have a little bit more swelling and they, want, they, they feel more comfortable with them on for a little bit longer. Now, you don't necessarily need to use the Lycra plant pants 24 seven. Um, so, um, so obviously the longer they're on and the more frequently you use them, the more effective they are, but it's not necessary to use them 24 seven. So um, by all means, um, take them off to have a bit of a break, um, wash them, dry them, get them clean and then put them back on again. Um, that's perfectly okay.